Welcome to poem number two of the Ten Bulls and the second insight into the journey towards enlightenment. Now, poem number two is titled Discovery of the Footprints and is written as follows. Along the river bank, under the trees, I discover footprints. Even under the fragrant grass, I see his prints. Deep in remote mountains, they are found. These traces can no more be hidden than one's nose looking heavenward. And as you follow along the river bank under the trees, you walk the path of enlightenment that is normally hidden from view, which leads you to discover the footprints of the source. Now, when you have discovered the footprints, this refers to you discovering the path that leads to the source. Now, you have not yet reached your goal, but you have discovered the path that takes you there, which exists within your spiritual heart. Now, when your heart opens to the source, the path instantly becomes known to you and you become aware of what distant mountain the source is guiding you to. And you realise that source footprints are guiding you through beautiful experiences and also through lonelier roads towards your goal. And you realise that the source you may once have searched the world for was right there with you all along within your spiritual heart. And now traces and evidence of the presence of the source and your true self will no longer be hidden from you when you direct your nose heavenward, which is when you direct your mind and your heart to the source and no other, so that you are completely aligned with and directed towards the path that leads to the source. Now when your mind and heart is focused on the source and no other, the source will show you the path that leads to a realisation of your true self. Now this path shown to you is beyond knowledge and knowing. Now this involves directly experiencing your true self, at which point you see the traces and presence of the source and yourself in everything. And you realise that there are no individual parts to you, reality and source, and all are part of the same whole. Everything is inseparable as one. Now join me again in part three of the Ten Bulls.